an idea for it again, guys. Right, I wasn't meant to be coming out to DLA because I'm uh, I'm camping in a couple of days with uh, all of the boyos want a wild camp, but the other half's dragged us out to this place here. See if you can have a guess where it is. Right, I'm just going to get my gear sorted in the van and I'll bring you back further up the track. I've just parked up there. The old van up there, but look, there's loads of car parking spaces for you. You can get a park in there. And there's some prices there if you just want to get the pause button on. There, the steps of doom. There's a chair for when you come back down, guys, and you're a packet. That's where I'm going up here. Well, that's where I'm going to try and go anyway. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a leg burn of this, I can tell already. Now we. That's tongues like sandpaper. <laughs> the best grass out there, isn't it? Car park. Right back down there where that Little house here, that's the car park, just on the back side of them trees. Straight up the path, into the gateway. The dreaded steps of doom again. <laughs> Never mind. Sharp get up there with this. I'm doing another hike in this soap and wet mud here. We mean you treat well they weren't you. Never mind. Cheers guys. Just having a swifty I am. <laughs> Good job I won't count coming up. No, no. <laughs> aye aye mate. Hi, there's a few steps involved in this and like guys, but they've got to be done to get to the top. Here's an honest question for you anyway. Strictly honest, what do you prefer to get up like steps like this or just go on up like trails like that? Because I think the trails, I prefer the trails other than the steps, like. Nice, isn't it? I'll give you a view from up here, chaps. Some other fellas right over there. Look at them, them, and then. And that's it. Not far off the top of you. Walking on cobbled stones, just little bits of skin and bone. Jumping on a tram car for a ride. <clears throat> and then you remember that one? It's starting to get a bit windy. Look at that one. Not bad for the view, eh? Not bad at all. <laughs> no way. Hurry up. Ah, they're getting a bit steeper, these steps, like. 
<laughs> no to me these like right we are nearly at the top making stuff into these bricks I'm going to put some of this So we got the triggers always. Jeez. Yes. Right. Oh, let's get out. Done up there. This path coming back off of you, man. Bit sketchy. Anyway, highlight of my week now, longer than a week. Are you? I've been off the fags now for eight days. I've been smoking this, the gold bar. It hasn't even got nicotine in it. It's just flavored water. <laughs> Raspberry, if you must know. Aye, so I think that's the end of the fags. Might be a bit hard when I'm on the drink with the lads, like, to uh, refuse, but I'm gonna try my hardest still. Eight days in, yes. I feel better for it actually, like. Oh, wait. Right, I'll bring his back further down the track, eh? Can he hide these stairs, like? Yeah, it was a nice little walk out there. I've got time to go and visit somewhere else. I don't know where, but I may as well find somewhere else down here. Ah, anyway, looking forward to the camp, boys. Friday, cannot wait. I have a good, uh, good knees up on this one. Let our air down. So, from me and the lads, apologies in advance for any bad language. Just thought I'd let you know because there's a couple of my mates day watch with the kids that have said to me, oh, I thought you could put a couple of beeps in now and again, the band's copying and that, which I didn't do it intentionally. When I post videos, you know, they're not posted, they're posted made not for kids, so I cannot help you there, chaps, but oh, you bastard. All I, all I can do is give you a warning in advance. Next video after this one, is with me and the lunatics, so be prepared for some P's and Q's. <laughs> We're not all bad, we're just like having a good laugh, you know what I mean? Some of what's got to be done, man. You only live once, guys. Get out there and enjoy it, no matters which way you enjoy it. Anyway, I'll fetch you back further along the track. But, yeah. Uh, 
Miss Nardal's took off in front, so I'll follow you. <clears throat> so if we get lost, I'll come to a nice drop, but we kind of get off, I'll blame her. There. You see it? I don't know if I've got that on camera there. Don't like that there, wasn't it? Aye. I thought it was a rabbit. I thought it was a fox. Now it's really Oh, Sonny, he's a spot for you, my mate. Still loads of people up there. Tell you what. It was well busy up there to be fair. I didn't even see that many people going up. There must have been there must have been uh, sitting up there for ages. There was a couple coming up as, as we were going up, and then when we got on top, it was about 60 people. <laughs> but I still gotta stand on the trig and kicked off. Oh well, that's just gone here. You kind of shout that when people say I'm like, oh can it's butchy boy, you talk me and shout what I want. It wasn't if I was shouting fuck off to anybody. <laughs> I was only shouting yes, be a while I'm here. Yes, guys, and what did I just see back there? If she fetches us, the wrong way. The wrong way. And look at the height of that there, and there's just nowhere to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> She's not coming anymore. Hey, I'll have to go and find a pathway. <laughs> I seen a video not long ago, uh, Camp and Dan 85. Camp and Dan took their lass up, uh, I think it was that one. He took her up for the sunset or the sunrise. I can't remember, sorry mate, but I think it was the sunrise he went up for uh, with their lass. Done well, him and their lass flew up. Like, well, flew up when I see her, got up, a bit like me and our lass. Right, so she's already got us lost one place on the top there and come uh, six. 80 foot drop now we've just come down from up there them steps have done what i'm on about and the steps what we came up is just there going down through there but here uh, she wants to go on this way <laughs> so if she's rang again say that uh, we may get one of them like wouldn't it but we'll uh we'll see if she's rang again uh, i aid will not fit in the vanning if she's right this time be like that uh what's he called again Arnold in both the cartoon with that rugby head. <laughs> oh, I think she's on it like. Listen, no, but at least I know where I'm going. Ish. Yeah, she's funded, I think. Look. Oh, you watch a smile on her face, eh? Yeah, yeah man. I know the last of this. See, I know where I'm going. Get a good, good camp in there if you had a hammock and some trees. Just, uh, there's them steps over there, look. So I could have come down the steps and just, uh, oh yeah, she's giving that advice out now. She hasn't got a clue herself. <laughs> Lass is tall, it's lads tall from the corner. Aye, all good anyway, right. Let's see he's on the next location. Get up there, look at the donkey. Quick pit stop there to salt burn. That's what you've got here. You just want to have a look on there. I'm not stopping here, like. I've got a gun at a. Promenade. Get the pause on there if you want to read that. There's a nice ice cream van over there for you. If you, want to, uh, if you just want a little bit cornered or something like that. And I, a couple of uh, telescopes here. Look at these babies. Big fuel point here. Get up there. Doesn't look very safe, that like. A couple of pubs down here as well. Well, the lads went down last time we were here. Uh, they had live music and that on, so they were out with the moon. Lovely cliff edge up there, along there, like. So, I, anyway, just came to do a little drone shot of it. While the sun's out. And 
now I'm going to go and find me Paul. Here's a look at me park up for tonight. That's where I was, right over there at Saltburn, at the cliff edges. So I've came all the way around. I am now at Red Kick Gear. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have a mooch down here, run here on the pier, and have a nice couple of beers. Kind of bring his back on the track here because it's not a track, it's a pier. <laughs> so we'll have a beer on the pier. <laughs> Old ship coming in. When that boat comes in. There's one coming out and all up there. Just gonna go and get me here. Uh, <clears throat> bag of alcohol. Me done. I'm good at the only thing I haven't got is any wood because you can have a little fire along here but I've got no wood so what you can't have it all a nice walk along the air red could get pay for his chops Look at that water. Well, we're going right to the end and round the back side of it. Lovely, isn't it? There's the old turbines over there. I'm going to send the drone through them later on. Like, go watch one of them whack the drone straight out the sky, yeah? Thousand pounds straight for a swim. <laughs> This is where I'm mooching along here. I'm going to have a couple of cans along here. And I'm not even going to ask this fisherman, are you caught out, mate? Because how many times has a fisherman heard that in his life? I'm not into fishing. I'm not into fish. So I'm not going to ask him if he's caught out. I might tell him it's a good day for it. But I'll take a taxi driver and it's busy like me. <laughs> How many people are we? I've done it myself and it goes wrong, but how many people? You busy like me? Eh? Same fisherman, he caught out, mate. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh. Anyway, my battery's nearly flat on this camera, so I'll have to have a can run to you and charge us back up. And uh, I'll bring you back at it, eh? See you shortly, guys. Step round here, chaps, because uh, some nice ones in the floor here. Hey, I'm here. Can he do it for it? The boat gone out there, chaps. Absolutely class, isn't it?
you can you dive in off down there, like, wouldn't you? Beautiful, man, isn't it? Things you've got on your doorstep, what you've done at the... Uh, you know, what you didn't really come to, you know? Class one, I love it, me. Another boy in here, chaps. If anyone's ever down and anyone's in aggro, yeah. And then you get likes of that. You know what I mean? Never mind. Like we said earlier, you'll never read the full planet with it, will you? Yes, yeah, sunny lad. He's the sails kicking off, are you, mate? Check him out, John. You need fish getting caught round here, mate. That's for sure. He's sitting there with his rod and all. He's got no chance of catching out here with them swimming about, has he? We've just gone for a nice look up here while the sun's out. Class when the sun comes out, man, isn't it? Yeah, it'll never tap off at that rate, will it? Yes, been a canny deer today. You always enjoy life better when the sun comes out, didn't you? I mean, I do like a bit hike in the snow and that, like, and a bit camp in the snow for a bit laugh, but it starts again your tits after a while, didn't it? How fast am I? Right, a beer on the pier. <laughs> oh, ah, it's beautiful here, man. Look at the sun coming across the water here. Look at this. Yes, back to the vanities. Can number eight. <laughs> so cheers times eight. It'll be times 12 when I get back to the van. Yeehaw! The bigger one, the bigger. Mm. It's exactly. Eh? Let's pick some willick with a pillock. <laughs> Am I kidding? There he's again. And it's definitely that same one because it's massive. It's come from all the way along there. Eh? Back. <laughs> Creepy little twat. Have they got fishing rods, them lads over there? Aye. Aye, that's what it's there for. They're not daft, are they? Hi, overall. Eventful deer. 
And because I'm unplanted, yeah, I haven't got no to cook in my van for you, to be fair, but I've got a nice chicken, spicy chicken sandwich. A couple of cans to gun at. See, you did. Get up there, it's not ten, it's a fiver. Lovely one, on it. Only bit I never uh, put on was that sign along there. I'm sure I'll fly the drone along there and I'll show you what it says on the sign. No problem. And that's the strip, the Gaza strip. <laughs> Yes, so this will be good night, and one final cheers, I'll bring this back in the morning at sunrise, if I'm up early enough to catch it, I should be like, because I'm an early bird, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the sun rises so we can see it like, you know I'll get up and it'll be full of cloud and pissing down but if we can get it we'll get it in the morning chaps and we'll have a nice coffee yeah nice one and just while I'm there don't forget to subscribe to the channel
and forks. Oh, tell you what, I'm nice and cosy in this tin box, but damn man, I've woke up a few times because of this little strap here. It's been like hanging on the outside. The wind's been blowing it bang, bang, bang. All oh, link, you know, when you're just too lazy, you can zip the thing up to get out of it. So I've just sacrificed me sleep because of being lazy. I'll just give a look at me here. Yeah, there's someone snoring in the van next door to me here. It sounds like someone's just kicked it out. Triumph Bonneville motorbike hour. He's fucking gone off it. He is absolutely gone for it, like, as if it's like a world record. It's five o'clock in the morning now. I'll just jump on my tent box. On me, well, I'll jump on the tent box roof, like. Jump on the roof of my van and just shout, Good morning, Vietnam! <laughs> He's looking at me, view. Absolutely class. Oh. Wipe the sleep away from my eye. He's still gone, like... Anyway, I'm going to jump out of here soon. I'm going to go down in my van and put my kettle on. Yes! <laughs> yes, folks. Anyway, that is the end of this little adventure. <clears throat> so if you've hung around till the end, always much appreciate it. If you like the adventures, get the subscribe pressed. 